Yo, like I always say, if you're not down with the bullshit and you're down with the real shit, like and subscribe. Yo, man. Damn, one of the greatest. Not one of the greatest. What am I talking about? The greatest hip hop producer and one of the greatest producers of all time. We all know suffered a brain aneurysm. And uh, a lot of people want to speculate and believe that it had to do with the stress of dealing with uh, the the divorce, you know, proceedings going on with it, um, his wife. Um, now, as of late, it's being reported that now he's agreed to give her the temporary uh, two million dollar spousal support. Um. Some people now are saying they think that, yeah, you know, he's that's him realizing that this is now affecting his health. Just stressing so much about, you know, trying not to let her manipulate uh, the courts and everything and get a big lump sum of his money that he's worked and earned, you know, over multiple uh, years. Um, You know, this is a reflection, truthfully. And doesn't have anything to do with whether you're rich, famous, a celebrity, or or a true public figure. A lot of people now, uh, nowadays, they be calling themselves public figures. You know, you see people on uh, Facebook and Instagram calling themselves public figures. Like, don't nobody know what the fuck your ass is. Like, what the fuck? You ain't no public figure. Oh, my God. Everybody just want to be famous. But, um... um you know, the true uh, um, authenticity of of a lot of marriages, um, it's shown that, like, people don't really value the sanctity of marriage anymore like they used to, you know. Uh, you might have a person here and there out and about, you know, in the world that will say, oh, I do. You know, I'm not like everybody else. It's all, it, it, you know, it's all, there's always going to be somebody that's saying, I'm not like them people. I'm not like those people. I, I don't do that. And I value this. And I still adhere to, you know, um, how things have historically been or traditionally been. And maybe you're telling the truth. But for the most part, you know, uh, a lot of traditions and ways that we used to look at various different things, uh, child raising, um, uh, you know, sports, entertainment, uh, you know, come, you know, uh, competition, um, you know, mm, you know, uh, the, the schools, how our kids are taught, uh, a lot of traditional things you know, have been just thrown out the window. And that even includes like how people view marriage with the influx in, um, you know, popularity of feminism, uh, the extreme left uh, and all their ideologies and how they want things just to go their way or else you, uh, they, they want to, uh, invoke the, you know, cancel culture. Um, if you don't do things their way or see things their way, uh, you know, everyday life has been really impacted, uh, ever since the Obama administration, um, up until now to where like, um, uh, a lot of young new idealists, just want to change the world. They just want change, period. You know, and um, this affects morality, um, you know, practical thought. And, uh, you know, and marriage is just one of those things. Marriage is just one of those things that's also involved in all of that. Um, she was married to Dr. Dre for like 20 plus years. They have a couple of kids together. Um... If they've had, you would think ideally, if they've had some kind of in uh, irreconcilable differences, and it has to come to this, okay, fine. But you shouldn't want to just say, okay, uh, make it a money grab situation now, and has got this man stressing the way that he has, 
to where some think that that's what, you know, made the aneurysm happen. It's like, where's the love at? But that's just the point, you know. Love is more of a mindset, a mindset, a concept, rather than an actual feeling uh, being acted upon because of a moral conviction to adhere to the true uh, intricacy of what, you know, love is supposed to be. Uh, that's saying that, you know, she should still take in account if there ever was any true love. You know, you it, it should have been once all about love. You still have the history and the legacy of being married, living together, and having those kids. Why not just have a settlement to where you can live comfortably, um, but still understand that you are an adult. At the end of the day, you're still an adult. Marriage is supposed to be uh, based upon commitment. You now want to no longer be committed. So all the things that's that's associated with that commitment, are you still entitled to that? That was brought to my attention by a young man who, you know, I was like, hmm. I'm like, you got a point. Never really thought about it like in depth in that way. How are you still trying to reap the benefits from your wealthy spouse, even though you no longer want to be with them? Oh, because they got used to a lifestyle. They said like, okay, but you, you want to leave that lifestyle. That's why you're getting divorced. You understand? That's why that, that's, that's why that's BS. You might as well stay with them and endure what you have to endure. And nine times out of 10, oh, why well, he's saying that? Uh, well, a high percentage of the, the, the time, the, the, the husband is going to pass away before the the woman, the the wife does. So once he, he's gone, you inherit the stuff anyway, right? Then you can do what you want. I guess, you know, <laughs> uh, they figure at that point, yeah, but how many years is that going to be? You know, I don't want to be 85 and then he dies. And then how long am I going to be around to enjoy the money? Like, damn, you know. <laughs> Jesus Christ shit you know but at least it would be some more integrity that one could associate with at least she stayed with him throughout the marriage you know she didn't just you know pull this mess like what she's pulling right now you know and a lot of these athletes I, I say it from time to time Famous athletes, these rappers, I don't understand. You, you know, a lot of guys have to understand that. Look, man, first of all, like, you know, the thing that's always been associated with men is, you know, where women even expound upon it. We think with the wrong head. Um, It's like we forget about the whole you can't turn a hoe into a, a housewife, you know, thing, um, saying and um, mantra that. All men should have filed in their databanks, you know, honestly. Um, and so this is why, like, how a woman looks or, you know, her sexual, you know, prowess, how none of that really factors into being a good wife. I understand, like, ideally, every man would really want to have that woman with the Coke bottle figure, the long hair, the nice breast, the nice booty, the the pretty toes, the the, the 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 just the beautiful eyes, the everything. But that's ideally that something that's ideal is not necessarily real. You know, it's like a concept. You know, like yeah, that could be cool if you can make it work. But that's not necessarily across the board uh, a thing that everybody is going to be able to, you know, acquire. That's just the reality of it. So there's things that we think about that are ideal, ideal. Well, we think, yeah, you know, that's just like, um, what was it? 
I think it was there was a comedian. He uh, some a comedian that uh, told a joke once, and he said, in the midst in, 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 in the uh, uh, in the midst of his monologue that he that he was doing. He got to a point where he said, you got these people that always be talking about, oh, man, the world is so bad. Oh, man, um, this sucks. Oh, man, why we got to pay all these taxes? Oh, man, I'm sick and tired of this. Oh, man, life is awful. Oh, man, I hate waking up every day and have to deal with the same crap every damn day. He said, well, then die. He said, because the whole thing about it is, you know, life is what it is, you know, if he said, uh, the whole thing about it is if, um, we all got our thoughts and opinions about life and the world and how we think things should be ran and, and how things should go. But now if it was all about, um, our individual idea and thought, then we would be God and we would have created the earth. You know, we would have created civilization and all things that live on the planet and we would have created like, you know, the, the sun and the moon and the storm, you know? So, um, the whole thing about it is, um, everything is just not going to go one person's way. You know, that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing about it. It, it, it regardless of what the hell you think, you know, or what your ideal idealism is all about and everything and stuff like that. But we should have a sense of moral conviction um, and tradition, um, you know, to something. And it should be more to marriage and uh, just creating a family, having kids, then it just being a money grab, you know, uh, you know, for women to use that just for survival purposes and means and women championing it on and, and all that stuff. And then when men get to the point where they start saying, I don't want to fucking get married and fuck these fucking bitches and, 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 and it ain't no good and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And this is what I was alluding to. Um, when I had, um, and I know some people, don't want to hear that. They didn't want to like it when I, especially the sisters, when I was talking about how some people, while they, um, get involved in, um, um, interracial, uh, marriages and relationships, because within that race itself, they've seen some things and that has been pushed or marketed as culture to where they're like, no, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like to say, I mean, if you got a, even a, a young black woman that says, so if she feels like coming from where she comes from and what's primarily around her, what she sees, and she said, so if I get a man, I got to get a thug. So if I get a man, I got to get with a drug dealer. So if I get with a man, I got to get with a, a, and I'm saying like, as it pertains to like, let's say all these men are black and we're talking about a black woman, it's, it's just a young girl. Color. And she says, so all these qualities I don't agree with. I don't like none of this stuff. But but if I don't get with somebody that looks like this or acts like that, and this is what I primarily see, and I just, from my walks in life, I just haven't been able to get with that black man who is not like that and not saying that there's not any black men who are not like that, but she might go away to college and be in environments where like, hey, She's primarily around white guys or Latino guys, Asian guys. And she says, hey, you know, she fell in love with a guy who she like, hey, it wasn't about him. What his race was, it wasn't about his color. It's just that that's the person I fell in love with, you know, and he's a good guy. And, he, and you know, a lot of times with the sisters, once they do that, all oh, the sisters are all right. All right with that. Then they say, oh, yeah, because. Yeah, it's better than these no account niggas and don't want to work, don't want to take care of their families. Uh, motherfuckers ain't shit and blah, blah, blah. And they want you to respect them and submit to them. And they ain't doing their job and they ain't doing what they supposed to be doing as men. But, you know, and so a lot of times, you know, sister, she going to have to do what she got to do. And I'm happy for you, girl. If you find a white man and he take good care of you and your kids, girl, that, you know, you deserve that. Like, you know, but if a black man explain shit from the same perspective 
even black dudes, you got black dudes who kiss to, who so busy kissing the sister's asses that they will try to shame him or talk bad about him too. Like I never would. I love my black sisters. I look, I do you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't care. They call me bitch ass nigga. I don't care if they call me bitch. I don't give a damn. Hell. You know what I'm saying? They yell at me and cuss at me and they act like more of a man than I do. I'm willing to sub submit to my black queen. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I would never ever marry a white woman. I never do no mess like that. He's not saying he wouldn't have sex with one. And a lot of those that say that shit, they've had sex with them. I don't give a damn how pro-black they fucking act. And, and, and I got receipts. I know motherfuckers who've done that. It's plenty of a lot of black dudes who will swear to God they never will marry a white woman. They wouldn't have kids by a white woman. They didn't have sex with white women. So they just say that to appease the sisters. So a lot of this shit just fake. But um, I'm just saying you look at like how people look and view marriage now. This woman wants $2 million a month to support her lifestyle. Now, I know in this day and age, what goes on is a lot of the sisters will say, well, that's because, you know, you can't trust her because she not black anyway. Wait a minute, but she is her dad and her mom, both of them are supposed to be from Africa. Um, and her dad is supposed to be black and her mom is white. But, you know, like, I guess like that South African type thing or whatever and stuff like that. So, but it's like, it's this thing now that if you're not, and this is how I go. If you're not a dark skinned black woman, you're not black, you know. So anytime they see a prominent black man or a black man with money with a non-dark skin black woman, the sisters just start going crazy. You know, there's, well, that's what, even though they do the same shit, I do not understand. You got dark skin, black gold diggers, dark skin, black women who be messing around with different men being all, you know, promiscuous. And I don't, and that's, I don't get that. I guess it's it's just one of them multi multiple political things. That's every damn thing. Politics nowadays. Every goddamn everybody got a damn fucking agenda and propaganda. Got to enter into every damn thing. Now you know shit. Um, but yeah, man. I mean. He's one of the greatest producers there's ever been. He is the greatest hip hop producer and everybody, East Coast, West Coast, down South, Midwest, up North, you all know that and shit. And it's a shame to see him going through this shit, man, at this point and shit. And that doesn't mean Dr. Dre is perfect. We all know nobody's perfect. We all know, you know, Dr. Dre from things that his history has shown he's not perfect and everything, but... You know, you have to deal with uh, um, things a lot of times on its individual basis and not say, oh, well, because you did this back like 15 years ago, then this is just your karma that's coming back to you. You know, what the hell does like if I get into it with one of my friends and I had a bad I had bad business dealings, why is it that I should get divorced from my wife? That's two different issues. But I was just touching on this for a minute. I'll probably like a span upon it in a later video. But peace.